Hello students. In the previous video, we had seen that every composite number can be factorized in primes. For example, we had taken, let's say, take an example 60. If we have to factorize it 60, get 2 over here, what remains? 30. In 30 again, if you take out 2, you are left with 15. Again, you can factorize 15 into 3 and 5. Here, we had already seen this in the previous video. We can write 60 is equal to 2 square into 3 into 5. Enough. So, this, all the numbers in the right hand side are primes. Every prime number, uh, sorry, every composite number can be broken down into primes like this. And this breakdown in primes is unique. This is unique. There is no other way you can break down 60. And in other words, using these uh, numbers, you will get only and only 60. You cannot get any other number from using all these numbers which are over here. 2 square and 3 and 5. Of course, if you multiply four numbers, <clears throat> some numbers, the result has to be unique. But as we had seen in case of addition, you can write 60 as 25 plus 35. <clears throat> you can also write it as 40 plus 20. There can be several ways to write 60 as sum of two numbers. But as product of primes, there is only one single way. Okay. This fact is known as the fundamental theorem of arithmetic fundamental theorem of arithmetic this is a very fundamental theorem very important theorem very basic theorem and this will come in your syllabus again and again if you continue studying maths you will come to get this theorem again and again so this should be fit in your mind very nicely that every composite number can be written as product of more than two number I mean, as a product of primes and this division of the number in primes has to be unique okay so we were looking at examples in the previous class we will continue with some more examples we will follow the examples from the ncrt textbook find the lcm and hcf of 6 and 20 by prime factorization method very simple question you have been learning it from the very early classes 6 can be written as 2 into 3 20 can be written as 2 into 2 into 5 what is hcf i'll color the hcf in red whatever is common in all these two will form the hcf common is 2 over here so we get hcf to be equal to 2 you already know these things i am just revising it and i'll color the lcm in green what will be the lcm <clears throat> maximum number of times 2 is coming 2 is coming how many times maximum number of times that 2 is appearing 2 is appearing twice 2 square into 3 is appearing how many times 3 is appearing once over here and 0 times over here so 3 will be once 5 is appearing once over here and it's not appearing in 6 so these 3 numbers will form the LCM 4 3 are 12 5 are 60 is the LCM Okay, and there is a very interesting result over here, LCM into HCF, this will be equal to the product of numbers. What is LCM into HCF? 2 into 60 is equal to 120 and if you <clears throat> multiply 6 and 20, the numbers over here is 6 and 20, 6 into 20 is equal to 120. So, the product of numbers is always equal to the product of LCM and HCF. This is valid only for two numbers. Valid only when there are two numbers. When you are talking of LCM and HCF of two numbers. Product of the numbers is equal to, I will write it here. Product 
of numbers this is equal to lcm multiplied by hcf okay let's move to the next example <clears throat> The HCF of 96 and 404 by prime factorization method and hence find their LCF. That's a very simple example. I'll just quickly do it. 96 can be written as 2 into 48, 48, 2 into 24, into 2 into 12, and 2 into 6, 2 into 3. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 to the power 5 into 3. Okay. 404 can be written as 2 into 2 into 101. 101 is it a prime or not? Is 101 a prime? Looks to me. So this is equal to 2 square into 101. What will be the HCF? HCF will be 2 square is equal to 4. LCM. This will be 2 to the power 5 into 3 into 101. Okay. Let's move to the next example. Find the HCF and LCM of 6, 72 and 120. See, now there are three numbers over here. <coughs> you can find the LCM and HCF of three numbers also following the same way. Let's factorize first. 6 is equal to 2 into 3. 72 is equal to 9 into 8, 2 cube into 3 square. 120 is equal to 2, how many times will 2 come? 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 2, 8. Two into sixty into no, two into thirty two into fifteen into three into five. That is equal to two cube into three into five. Now, for LCM, find what is uh, HCF. For HCF, we need to find what is common. Two is coming once over here, thrice over here, thrice over here. So two will appear once only. Three is appearing once, twice, and once. So three will come once. 2 into 3 is equal to 6 is the HCF. If you talk about LCM, 2 is coming maximum number of times. How many times? 3 times. 2 cube. 3 is appearing square. 3 square is 10. 3 square into 5. What will this give you? 8 into 9. 72 into 5. 360. Okay. Now we will start off with the exercise 1.2 of the NCERT textbook. Questions are very simple over here. Express each number as product of prime factors. 140. What can you write it as? 2 square into 5 into 7. Okay. 156. Very simple questions are here. Yeah. 2 into 2 into 3 into 13. So this is 2 square into 3 into 13. Question number 3. 3, 8, 2, 5. What can you do over here? This will not be divisible by 2. Can it be divided by 5 or uh, 3? Yes, it can be divided by 3. What will you get? 3 into 1, 2, 7, 5. Again, 1, 2, 7, 5 can be divided by 3. What will we get? 3 into 3 into 4, 2, 5. 425 cannot be divided by 3, so we will get now 3 into 3 into 5 into 85. 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 17. So answer is 3 square into 5 square into 17.
Very simple. Do you want me to do the remaining two questions also? No, I'll not do the question number four and five. You have to do it on your own. This is very simple. Don't ask me how did you do it, how to do it. Okay, I'll just tell you the process like we did the factorization earlier. 5005. This cannot be divided by 2, this cannot be divided by 3, this has to be divided by 5. So we'll get 1001 over here. And then you need to divide 1001. Similarly for 7429, the same process can be applied. So let's talk about question number 2, NCRT text exercise 1.2. Find the LCM and HCF of the following integers and verify that LCM into HCF is product of two numbers. If we talk of question number 1, 26 can be written as 2 into 13, 91 can be written as 7 into 13. So HCF will be common thing, 2 is not common, 7 is not common, 13 is common. This can also happen. Smaller numbers are not common, but the bigger number is common. So HCF is 13. LCM, what will be the LCM? 2 is coming once, 7 is coming once, 13 is coming once. 2 into 7 into 13. Now, if you multiply 26 into 91, what do you get? 2 into 7 into 13 square. No need to calculate this thing. We don't need to calculate it. Product will have only these things 2 into 7 into 13 square and here LCM into HCF will have 2 into 7 into 13 square. No need to calculate it again. So this both these numbers are the same hence LCM into HCF is equal to product of the two numbers verified. Come to question number 2. 510 can be written as 2 into 260, 2 into 130. 2 into 65, 5 into 13. Take a 13 into 5, 65 into 2, 130 into 2, 260 into 2, 510. If you are having difficulty, draw the factor 3. No problem with that. Take your time. 92. 92 can be written as 2 into 41, 46. Sorry. Two into two into twenty-three. Okay, so LCM will be two is coming twice in both the cases. So two is square. And H sorry, that is the HCF, not LCM. This is the HCF, and LCM is two is coming thrice, five is coming once into 13 into 23 okay not so difficult again if you multiply the two numbers what do you get 2 to the power 3 and 2 2 to the power 5 into 5 into 13 into 23 will you get the same if you multiply these two numbers lcm and hcf of course you'll get the same okay question number three i am leaving it for you you have to do it Yes, you have to do it. Don't try to ignore it. Let's come to question number 3. Find the LCM and HCF of the following integers by applying the prime factorization method. Okay, I'll solve one of these. Other two you will have to do. I'll solve the first one. 12, you have to factorize it. This will be 2 square into 3. 15, you have to factorize. This will be 3 into 5. And 21, this will be 3 into 7. Now, HCF will be the numbers which are common in all the 3. What are the numbers common in all the 3? Is 2 common in all the 3? No, 2 does not appear over here. 2 does not appear over here. Is 3 common in both? Yes, 3 is here, 3 is here, 3 is here. So, 3 is common in both. So, HCF will have 3. Will it have 5? Will the HCF have 5? No, 5 is coming only in one number. 7, no, 7 is also coming in only one number. So, HCF is only 3. HCF is equal to 3. If you talk of the LCM, <clears throat> what will be the LCM? What is the maximum power of 2? Maximum power of 2 is 2 here. That is the maximum. So, LCM will have 2 square. What will be the power of 3 in the LCM? 3 power is 1 here, power is 1 here, power is 1 here. So, 
power of 3 will be 1 in the LCM also multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. Same process 5 has maximum power 1, 7 has maximum power 1. You can you have to multiply all these numbers to get the LCM. Four twenty is the LCM. Okay, okay. I'll solve one more question for you. Seventeen. This cannot be factorized. This will be seventeen itself. Twenty-three. Even this cannot be factorized. Twenty-nine. Even this cannot be factorized. All the three numbers are prime over here. So what do you do in this case? HCF is 1 because we can see everywhere that there is 1. 1 can appear anywhere in multiplication. So HCF is 1. LCM LCM is product of all the 3. Minimum power of maximum power of 17 is 1. Maximum power of 23 is 1. Maximum power of 29 is 1. So product of all the 3 numbers is the LCM of the numbers. Okay. Let's move to question number four now. Okay, this uh, third part you have to do. Third part has to be done by you. Question number four now. <clears throat> Given that HCF of 306 and 657 is 9, find the LCM. We have already seen that product of the numbers is equal to LCM into HCF. You remember this? So from here, we can simply say LCM is equal to product divided by the HCF. Very simple. So what will be the answer? 306 multiplied by 657 divided by 9. Okay, cancel out. 34, 34 into 657, 34 into 657, okay, you have to do this multiplication, I am not doing this multiplication over here, you have to do this multiplication in your mind, that's okay, let's move to question number 5, check whether 6 to the power n can end in 0 for any natural number n, we have already seen similar question for 4 to the power n, in the previous video, we have discussed a such question. What did we say over there? If the answer has to end in 0, 5 has to be a factor. Anna, if you want to write it, if the number is ending in 0, one of the factors is Five, but six to the power n cannot have a factor five. Six to the power n cannot have a factor five. Therefore, six to the power n cannot end in zero. Whatever be the value of n, whatever value n takes, six to the power n cannot end in 0. In no case is it possible. Question number 7. Explain why the number, two numbers are given, are composite numbers. Okay, let's see one by one. 7 into 11 plus 13 into 13. Is it composite or prime? But the question says it is composite, so it has to be composite. But you have to prove is it composite or not. How will you prove? You have to multiply, then add, then check whether they are factors or not. Is it? Okay, sorry, there I have written the question wrong. Question is 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13. Now calculating this number is maybe a difficult task. It's not going to be so easy. We need to apply some trick. What can we do over here? We take 13 as a common factor. What are we left with? 7 into 11 plus 1. Yes. So whatever comes in here, 13 is one factor. Whatever comes on the right hand side doesn't matter. 13 is a factor of the number. Isn't it? 
So this number is composite. Now see, we are not asked to evaluate the number. We are not up, supposed to find the number. We are not supposed to do anything else. We just have to tell that the number is composite. So we did not do this calculation, lengthy calculations to say that number is composite. We just have to say that 13 is a factor of this number. Done. That's done. That's so simple as that. If you take the second number, 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5. Again, take 5 common. What are you left with? 7 into 6 into 5 is gone now. 4 into 3 into 2 plus 1. This 1 is ignored actually in multiplication. There is no value for 1. Here. So I have left that one. If you want, you can put 1 here also. So again, whatever this thing comes out to, whatever this thing is, there is a factor 5. 1, 5 is sitting over there. 1, 5 is sitting, so number is composite. Okay. Let's see the question number 7. There is a circular path along a, around a sports field. Okay, let's draw the path first. Let's say this is the circular path. Wow, it's a circle. Sonia takes 18 minutes to drive one round of the field. Sonia is taking 18 minutes. Rahul takes 12 minutes for the same. Okay, Rahul is fast. Suppose they both start at the same point at the same time. Let's say the both start at here. Same point, same place, same time. And go in the same direction. They are both going in the same direction. This direction. Let's say this direction. It doesn't matter whether they go in that direction or this direction. Let's take the, they go in this direction. After how many minutes will they meet again at the starting point? So what will happen after 12 minutes? Rahul will be here. Sonia will be somewhere behind. Anna. After 24 minutes, Rahul will have completed two rounds. Sonia will have completed 18, uh, 18 minutes, she will complete one round and then she will be lagging behind somewhere here maybe. After third round in 36 minutes, Rahul will complete and Sonia will be somewhere behind. So what do we need to find? They both are meeting at the same place. They both are meeting at the same place. How can this be, how can this be possible? This is possible. Uh, let's say in time t, Sonia has taken some number of rounds and Rahul has also taken some number of rounds. Both of them have completed some number of rounds. So this number t, t is a multiple of 18 also and it is a multiple of 16 also, uh, 12 also. t is multiple of both 18 and 12. <clears throat> So they are meeting for the first time. So t is the, also the limit, smallest number, which is the multiple of 18 and 12. So basically we are looking for LCM of 18 and 12. And what is the LCM? 36. So after how many minutes will they meet again at the starting point? They will meet after 36 minutes. Okay, in 36 minutes, Sonia will have taken how many turns? 18 turn, 18 minutes, one round, 36 minutes, two rounds. And Rahul will have taken how many rounds? 12 minutes, one round, 36 minutes, three rounds. Okay. Okay, that was about exercise 1.2 of the NCRT textbook. In the next video, we'll talk about the next topics. Till then, enjoy.